Welcome to Eastland, Eastland English. English. Challenge yourself and learn a little new vocabulary with us in our Intermediate English Vocabulary Test Tutorial number two. We are your hosts for this video. I'm Yudi. And I'm Robert. Let's get started. As always, for any sample test, it's best to choose your answer before we give you the correct answer or any clues. Directions. Choose the best answer to complete each sentence. Number one. Even though my best friends are celebrating this weekend, I have not yet received a or an blank to their party. A. Presentation. B. Gift. C. Invitation. D. Ceremony. Before we begin to look at the answers, Let's look carefully at some of the words in the sentence. Celebrating equals partying. Received here is used as a past participle because it's the present perfect tense. It means gotten or got. In British English, the past participle for get is got. In American English, they use gotten. Although the root word in A may have something to do with a party, the word present when you add the suffix ation, it means something very different. This means a public speech. A is incorrect. The word ceremony in D equals the same thing as a party. It is a close synonym. However, you can't bring or get a party for a party. The next keyword is the preposition to. We can delete choice B because we normally use the word gift with the preposition for. Invitation is the best answer. The whole sentence for a number one should be. Even though my best friends are celebrating this weekend, I have not yet received an invitation to their party. Number two. In order to observe this blank, Researchers immerse themselves in a very tough environment. With high humidity and many mosquitoes, they rarely experience sunshine. A. Desert. B. Rainforest. C. Summit. D. Glacier. Observe means wash carefully over time. Immerse is a verb that equals living in completely. Environment includes everything around you. Although these words will help you with your vocabulary, you don't necessarily need them to solve this question. Show me the keywords that can help us. Let's begin with high humidity. Humidity is the amount of moisture in the air. High humidity means there's a lot of moisture in the air. So we can delete choice A, desert. Great, because a desert has no rain. Another keyword that could help you is the word mosquitoes. They love hot, wet environments. Glacier is not correct, because this place is too cold for mosquitoes to live in. Absolutely correct. That leaves us with two. The last part of number two can help us delete summit. They rarely experience sunshine. A summit equals a mountaintop. A mountaintop is a place where you experience a lot of sunshine. B is the best answer. Let's hear the full sentence for number two. In order to observe this rainforest, researchers immerse themselves in a very tough environment with high humidity and many mosquitoes. They rarely experience sunshine. Number three. Although most nurses have excellent knowledge of what a patient needs, their chief role is to provide blank to doctors. A. Assistance. B. Insurance. C. Intelligence. D. Translation. Chief role means primary function. Another way of saying chief role is number one job. To provide equals to give. To translate is to take from one language and give the same words in another language. Nurses do not often do this. If they do, it's certainly not their first job. Insurance means a guarantee of some sort. 
Usually, health insurance relates to the patient, not to the nurse. When the word provide is used with intelligence, it means information that can help a country against another country. A spy provides intelligence for their own country. Assistance means help. That makes it the best answer. Let's hear number three. Although most nurses have excellent knowledge of what a patient needs, their chief role is to provide assistance to doctors. Number four. Former classmates Tim and Arya have been friends for ages before getting married. Their strong relationship shows that both of them are blank. A. Honest. B. Miserable. C. Frustrated. D. Retired. Former is an adjective that means in the past. For ages equals for many years. A strong relationship is a very positive relationship. The word miserable in B comes from the root word misery. Misery means great sadness. So miserable means sad. Clearly, these two people are not sad, and a strong relationship is a good relationship, which would create happiness, not sadness. Similarly, answer C, frustrated, is a negative adjective. It is a combination of stress and annoyance or anger. Both A and D could be adjectives to describe this couple. However, being retired is not evidence of a strong relationship, nor would it cause a strong relationship. Honest is the best choice. Honest means true or having integrity. You don't tell lies, and being honest would create a strong relationship. Sentence number four should go like this: Former classmates Tim and Arya. Had been friends for ages before getting married. Their strong relationship shows that both of them are honest. Number five. Due to the limited number of scholarships abroad for medical science, candidates' specific knowledge and a very high level of English are both blank. A. Needy. B. Essential. C. Lacking. D. Experimental. Limited number equals a small amount. Candidates in this case are people who are hoping to get the scholarships. Considering the context of this sentence, you can guess that specific knowledge and English are both required. They are necessary. We are therefore looking for a synonym for required or necessary. We'll begin with D, experimental. It has nothing to do with the sentence at all. Lacking means the complete opposite of needed. Lacking is a synonym for without. Although the root word need in A does mean the same as require, when we add the suffix y, it becomes an adjective that means needing something. However. Only a person can be needy. Essential is a synonym for necessary. The complete sentence for number five is: Due to the limited number of scholarships abroad for medical science, candidates' specific knowledge and a very high level of English are both essential. Number six. The blank views from the lookout usually cause overcrowding. Especially just before sunrise or sunset. A. Frightening. B. Disgusting. C. Various. D. Spectacular. Views are what you see from the lookout. Overcrowding means too many people. We have enough clues with these two words to guess that whatever is in the blank must be a very positive thing. It must attract. Many people. Disgusting is something that is not at all attractive. It causes distaste or revulsion. A fright is a scare, and to frighten means to scare someone. Frightening therefore means scary. 
Although C, various, could be a possible option, it's not the best one. Certainly there would be various views from a lookout. Spectacular means amazing or fantastic. It's the best choice. Number six. The spectacular views from the lookout usually cause overcrowding, especially just before sunrise or sunset. Number seven. This is confidential data from our new research. We are not supposed to blank others about any part of it until after we publish our results. A. Inform. B. Whisper. C. Keep. D. Hide. Confidential is the same thing as secret. We say not supposed to when we mean should not. Due to the logic of the sentence, it makes no sense not to hide the secret information. In fact, we should hide it. Furthermore, we would need from after hide, even if it were correct. For C, keep similar to hide, you would need from. Whisper means to speak quietly to someone else. Although it could be used for secrets, the best word for this answer is inform, which means tell. Let's hear the whole sentence for number seven. This is confidential data from our new research. We are not supposed to inform others about any part of it until after we publish our results. Number eight. Roughly half of the data that they collected was unusable due to the fact that the samples had spoiled. That means blank of the results must be thrown out. A. Less than 50%. B. Well over 50%. C. Exactly 50%. D. About 50%. We'll begin with the most obvious keyword here, and it's half. All of the answers have 50% in them. That means one half exactly. Had spoiled equals got rotten or went bad. When something has gone bad, you cannot use it anymore. Correct, and it makes sense to throw it out. We're back to the word half. The word before it is the most important word, roughly. The answer must equal roughly half. Less than 50% means 49% or less. Well over 50% would likely be 70% or higher. Exactly 50% means not less than and not more than 50% but roughly means not exactly, or about. This is number eight. Roughly half of the data that they collected was unusable due to the fact that the samples had spoiled. That means about 50% of the results must be thrown out. Number nine. The explorers had a difficult time due to the weather and method of travel throughout their journey. The Blank. Lasted over a month. A. Territory. B. Expedition. C. Landscape. D. Destination. Explorers are people who travel in relatively unknown locations. Lasted is a verb that we use for a duration or amount of time. It means it took over a month. So whatever is in the blank must equal some form of travel. Answer A, territory, refers to a region that is owned by someone or a country. C, landscape, refers to what you might see on your journey, but not the journey. Destination is when you reach the end, so the end cannot last 30 days or more. Expedition means a long journey. Number nine should sound like this. The explorers had a difficult time due to the weather and method of travel throughout the journey. The expedition lasted over a month. Number 10. Even though this device for most people is blank, because no one uses it anymore, I think it has enough basic functions and is classic. A. User friendly. B. Expired. C. Out of date. D. Eco-friendly. 
Having basic functions means that it is very easy to use. Some of you may think that A is the best choice in this case. However, the keywords even though lead us to something that is opposite to that. Eco-friendly means something green or good for the environment. For example, paper straws instead of plastic straws. However, nothing in this sentence refers to its environmental impact. Expired and out of date are similar in meaning. However, expired is only used for food or licenses. For example, a legal license to do something could expire, a passport could expire, or milk could expire. Out of date means the same thing as obsolete or not used much anymore. Maybe some newer technology has taken over and is more in fashion. The final sentence should sound like this. Even though this device for most people is out of date because no one uses it anymore, I think it has enough basic functions and is classic. Thanks so much for spending this time with us today. Please subscribe, like, and comment. We really love hearing from you. If you don't want to miss our new lessons, don't forget to click on the bell. That way you'll be notified every time we make and release a new video. Be up to date with our videos. See you next time. See you around. Goodbye. Bye-bye.